Hi guys, Ryu here with another video for Blender. In this one, we're gonna be talking about mirroring lights across some geo. So you're gonna have, you know, perfectly mirrored symmetrical lights on your object. So this is very useful, for example, for creating a deadpan symmetrical renders like the one you see here, uh, the one of the uh, one of the max we we had for our course. Now, technically, what you can do, right, if you add a light to your scene, okay, like this. Uh, you can flip it to the other side by simply changing values. So if I shift D this, I duplicate it, right, and open my end panel, you'll see here that I'm going to have some location values. If this um, this is in the y-axis and this slide is located on minus 3.7 um, on the y-axis, if I flip this to a positive value, so I delete the minus, you see that my, you know, my light's going to flip to the other side. If the light was rotated, I would need to do the same thing with rotation values. But it's a lot of work and, you know, no one wants to do that. So let me show you a new mirror function in Hardops. You would need a newer version of Hardops for this one, so update it if you didn't. And if you don't know whether you're running the, uh, the latest version, what you can do is go here and click. And you see, even I need update. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to select this one, Shift, select the cube, Alt X for the mirror, and then I'm going to press D for additional options, and I'm going to click on Flip right and if I click this you see that my uh, lights gonna flip the only thing you need to do is again duplicate the light because if you don't do that it's not a mirror right? it's a flip so um, you know you, you will not get the uh, light jumping to the other side so again duplicate the light shift select the cube alt X and in flip mode right you simply flip now this is not a mirror again so if you move this light right the other one will be unaffected so just bear that in mind however the cool thing about it is that it actually mirrors multiple lights so if i'm going to shift this you know let's say a few times right and i'm gonna go here select all these lights shift d duplicate them shift click on a cube alt x check if i'm in flip mode and flip boom there you go all the mirrors flip i mean all the lights are flipped to the other side now another cool thing about this mirror is that it flips not just the object but also the active object so let me show you if i'm going to duplicate this cube shift d and make it smaller on x and just make it smaller in general drop it somewhere here right and i'm going to select them both and i'm going to add a bevel modifier to both of them so you can see you know the difference of shape now if i'm going to flip this cube across this cube right um the only thing that's going to flip is the, the small one but if you wanted to flip both shapes you can do that as well so you select this one shift select this one alt x then you go here to the special menu and you select this option include active in multi mirror and flip and then when you flip they're both gonna flip again it's not a mirror it's a flip so you know it just simply kind of turn turns them around you know what i mean there is one more thing i want to mention there is a free course on our website full-on sci-fi terminal course from the cube to the final render with a lot of cool tips uh, you know post processing of the render etc really awesome and uh, it's completely free it comes in four parts and you can you know grab it by click it on the link in the video description now there are other things that come with the course and they're really cool one of them is a pdf file with shortcuts and really useful tips for hard ups and box cutter so grab it and you know enjoy it. thanks for watching see you later